Hi guys, this is Dr. J.L. Johnson here, and we'll be, today we're going to be doing a, a show, a short show, but I want you to take information on it because so many people suffer with what we're going to be talking about, and, and they suffer quietly, and, and it seems like no one's really giving them answers, so I want to give them the answers, and this may be happening to you or one of your family members that you may know about it. So if the first time, if you're first time joining us, uh, I'm Dr. J.L. Johnson is being brought to you by the Aloe Man Incorporated and our show is called Health Talk Magazine. So we want you to join us. This is where you come to get expert health information on just about any kind of problem that you might have. You can go to our website at aloman.com. That's A-L-O-E. M-A-N.com. You can go there. And of course, you can watch me on Facebook, uh, Dr. J.L. Johnson, and you can watch all of the previous videos that I've done out there and get more information. You can sit down with your family, uh, with your children, and, and learn more about your health. So today, let's jump right into it. We're going to be talking about bad body odor. Yes, bad body odor. Uh, is a major problem for many people out there across this country. I'm talking about, um, let me give you an example of what well, many of them. I, I just heard this lady talking uh, on the radio about this bad odor that she gets coming from her head, from the sinuses and through her mouth uh, when she talks or when she breathes, when she breathes, she, she, uh, she has this horrible, I mean, horrific body odor. And where people can't stand to be around her, they make up, they make faces and, and this kind of thing. Even, even if she's in a room with other people, many times those people may, may make gestures as to the odor that's coming from her, her, her breathing. Now this can happen in the, in the, in the nasal cavity, uh, in the back of the throat. It can also happen in the lungs. It can also happen um, where you can have total body, bad body odor, total bad body odor, where even when you sit down in a chair and when you get up, that bad odor is still in that chair. This is happening to people out there. I mean, it may seem unreal to you, but it is happening to many people out there. And you say, well, why don't they just take a bath? Bath don't work for this, my friend. <laughs> Listen, you can take a bath all day long. It doesn't work for this. When Whenever there is what we call self intoxication, uh, that you can have these kinds of bad body odor. When uh, when the when you begin to self intoxicate, uh, when the when the immune system is down, I mean it's a it's a number of things that has to come together that causes this kind of of odor in the body, and, and so. Let's just talk about a few of them. Uh, it can happen to a person who doesn't normally have good bowel movements and, for, and normally goes on for a long time. You see, when you don't have good bowel movement, and what is a good bowel movement? Now we, let's talk about that. What is a good bowel movement? A good bowel movement is that you, at least you should have a good bowel movement every day of your life. And I'm, I mean, don't fool yourself. Now you've heard me talk about this before. Uh, if you're in there to read a paper, if you're in there straining and groaning and all of this kind, that's not a good bowel movement. I mean, you should go in there, take care of your business, and you should be out of there less than 10 minutes normally. And that's a good bowel movement. It should be a smooth mood, move, and it shouldn't be, uh, the stool should not be hard and, and this kind of thing, hard to come out. No, you should have a good bowel movement at least once a day. But the ideal situation is that you need to have a good bowel movement after every meal. That's, that's the ideal situation. Now, there are many things that you can do to make sure that you have a good bowel movement. Now, I don't want to deviate too much here and talk about that, but let me just throw this in real quickly. If you're not having good bowel movements, then most likely you're not eating the right kinds of foods. And number two, you may be drinking too much fluid. Now you say, what does fluid have to do with this? Well, there's, a, there's an organ that sits here on the left side of your body, body called the spleen. The the, the purpose of the spleen, among other things, is to take uh, the, the, ner the foods and the things they take it when it comes through there and it divides it up and sends it to those particular places. 
when you drink too much fluid, you can flush the, the food through too soon. You can cause diarrhea. You can, you can also, uh, as you put in too much fluid, you can dry out the inside of your body, which can lead to hard stool and hard stool just doesn't come out. And, and so that's, those are some of the reasons why you can have bowel movement. Now, uh, when you do things like flour, dairy, and flour is, is, is one of the worst things that can clog up the bowels. Flour, white processed flour, and, and many other kinds of, of flour that you might get, but white processed flour is the worst in my opinion. If you take flour, just white flour, put it in a, in a bowl or a bottle or whatever, pour water in it and, and wash and swish it around and just let it set there, uh, it will turn into a glue. You know, when we were young kids, we used to take this stuff and hang wallpaper with it. I mean, hang, hang up pictures on the wall. You can put it on the wall and it will glue this to the wall. Well, it glues, it, it glues, it, it, it sticks on the colon walls and pretty soon you have a pretty small opening to get out waste. So uh, I know that may sound a little gross, but you, you need to talk about this kind of stuff and stay away from so much of the flour. We need all of those. And I, I go, sometimes when I'm out, I go to restaurants and stuff, especially for breakfast, you see these kids, you, the families are piling on these pancakes and, uh, uh, and, and uh, all kinds of flour that clogs up their whole little body. I mean, this stuff will clog up your whole body. So you've got to be very careful about that. So I, I don't want to deviate too much, but when you can't have good bowel movements, then this waste begins to recirculate back throughout the body and small particles of this waste. And the worst thing you can do is take a laxative because if you take a laxative, then you have an explosion and you can have an explosion in the colon and that can throw out small particles of this waste in, in, in different organs throughout the body. And that can cause self intoxication. And when, when you have self intoxication, now the inside of your body is intoxicated. So now you begin to get these odors coming from everywhere. When you breathe, when you talk, when you, well, if you sit on the surface under your, on the arms and wherever, even uh, it's oozing throughout your whole body life. So these, this can be the worst case scenario, but this happens to a lot of people out there. But I heard this lady talking uh, about the major, the, her, her problem was, is that she said she had an upper respiratory uh, problem. Both she and her daughter had an upper res respiratory problem. And both of them ended up with this severe uh, odor coming from their, their not, the, the sinuses in their body. So, uh, and also what she may not realize is it also comes from mucus balls. Now, if you don't know what that, mucus balls can form in the back of the throat and they can sit there. And when they come out, oh, whoa, it's the worst smell you can I mean, you're, it turns your stomach immediately. It feels like you want to vomit when you smell this stuff. I'm talking, I'm, this, this is real. This is real what we're talking about here. So um, these mucus balls can sit in the back of the throat. And every time you you talk, you, the, you can smell the odor coming out. Now, uh, and so, and let me give you an example of how that can happen to you. When you have sinus problem, that is too much mucus and inflammation in the sinuses, uh, the mucus is an ideal place for bacteria to grow in, in, the, in, in your sinuses. And it does. And by growing in the sinuses, then of course, um, that's where you get all of this odor from because the bacteria there be, uh, 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 begin to multiply. And you have this problem. Now, now this, the mucus there turns to pus in many cases. Now, pus has an odor of its own. So that's what you're dealing with here. You, you, you got all of this stuff sitting there and the sinuses are not draining. And when they don't drain, uh, they sit there and, and that odor sits there forever. How do you get rid of it? What do you do to get rid of it if this is happening to you right now? Well, I've dealt with a number of these cases in the Zion Health Program for many people with this all around the world. And, and the, the only combination of, pro, pro combination of herbs that we found that work, uh, and I want you to write them down, it's our formula, remember, and, and, and you may see it right here on the screen, 
our formula number J336. You want to get that formula number J336. You want to get our product called the Body Healer. Now, the Body Healer is a liquid tonic formula where you can put a couple of drops up in the nostrils. You can goggle with it to get out, help get these mucus balls out of the back of the throat. You can begin to loosen up that mucus so it will drain and come out of the body. Um, you need a good vitamin C, uh, like our product called Mega C. I designed that Mega C so that it so that it will give you. Uh, I designed it to be one of the best vitamin C combination ever developed in, on on this earth, and that that I know of. So Mega C, you want to order Mega C. Um, so those four products. Let me name them again: the J three three six, no five product. Uh, Four product, nasal cleanser, nasal cleanser, which comes in a capsule and body healer, which is a liquid and then mega C that whole combination is what you need. You can call the office. You can go to on the website and order it. Let me give it to you again. You want to get J three, three, six, uh, nasal cleanser, body healer and mega C. You need that combination to do that. Now, let me say this also, if it has become a total body thing, what's happening to you, then you also need to add uh, our product called MF, MSB, MSB and our product that's called uh, Immunoforce Plus or IMP, IMP. You want to add that to that regimen that we just talked about. That will give you a complete uh, maintenance pro health maintenance health program that that you can have to work on the whole body. So and, and we've seen this work, it, and it's not easy. Let me say this to you right now: once you reach that particular point, it's not easy to get rid of that odor from your body. But you can do it. And if this is happening to you, or you're one of your family members, or even one of your children, because you know I I had a case once in Rochester, New York. I think it was. It was Rochester, New York, where this family came to us and, and they were so embarrassed that they had a daughter, which is about 10 years old. And the, 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 the little daughter, the daughter could not. Uh, and when she went to school and when she went into the classroom, the whole class wanted to leave. They were, they were complaining to the teachers and everyone. So when she walks into a room, they could smell her walk into that room. That's how bad it was. Yes, there are people out there that live with this every day of their lives. And it's not fun. It is not fun. Many of these people become recluses. Uh, they become a recluse. That they stay to themselves. They, they, don't, they don't have very much public life or a, a social life uh, because of this odor coming from their bodies. And many people have even committed suicide uh, because, they, because of this kind of problem that they have. So you want to do something about it and you don't want to get to that state in the first place. So therefore you must do a to you must do a detoxing of your body. It is your responsibility to take care of your body. No, no question about it. God made this body for us. He gave it so that the body, the body heals itself. It is self-sustained, but it needs help from you to make, to maintain its proper health and also to cleanse it. So you've got to do these cleansing uh, or detoxing of your body. And you've got to detox in more than one way. It's not just taking up one product. Anybody telling you they're going to take one product and it's going to detox the whole body is not going to happen, my friend. You have to detox in many different ways. You detox the body. And, uh, uh, and, and, I, and there's a total, and over 41 years ago, I developed a, a total uh, a three step or a three, three program, uh, detox, uh, system, which works basically for the whole body in a sense, it's called the daily three. That's right. The daily three. And you can, you can order that, uh, the daily three, you can go to our website and order it right now. We got a special going on over it. Everybody should be doing that at least twice a year to make sure that you get rid of the waste out of the body. And it is your responsibility to make sure that you're having good bowel movements on a daily basis. This is very, very important. You've got to do that. 
So you don't want to end up uh, having self intox intoxication. You don't want to do that. So uh, that's our show today. I wanted to bring that to it. I want to let people out there know because I, um, as this lady was talking on the phone and she was talking, uh, but basically she was being told that there's nothing. No, I mean, we don't know what to do. And of course, uh, she has also been to, um, uh, to other health professionals and they have told her that they don't know what to do with it. Well, there is something that you can do about it. And we're giving you uh, one of the answers that we know of here. Uh, it, like I say, it's not easy. And of course, uh, some people never get help for this because, um, because of the waste that they have in their body and because it, they're not willing to go through what it takes to get rid of that body, to get rid of that waste from their body and to clean their whole body. It, it can take a long time. It can take anywhere from three to six months to really clean your body, to get rid of all of that waste. So, um, so again, go to our website, order the package that we're talking about right now. If this is happening to you, yourself, or some of your children. Uh, go and do that. If, if necessary, you can call me personally and we can develop a health program directly for you. Well, it looks like we'll come to a close of Health Talk again today. But as always, we give praise to Almighty God. We hope that you praise him and we say, God bless you all.